Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, we used the train handle to not take the train to another station or something, but just to move forwards or backwards, like a couple feet, which then allowed us to access a new door, which took us down, 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 another one of those creepy blood trail filled staircases, whatever you want to call them, they're just kind of floating over the void. Took that, went through the door at the end of it, and just like the last door, took us to a place we've been before, but a bit different. Took us to the subway world second time. This new door took us to the forest world second time. And we went over there to the burned out remnants of the wish house. If you see that there, that's a doll of some sort in a wheelchair. And there was a message scribbled on it saying that the five body parts have been scattered into the darkness. And I need to find them and reassemble them. And I'm pretty sure that's talking about the wells. I think the body parts are in the wells somewhere. So let's go searching around. We came from here, by the way. So we've headed this way up to the wish house. We haven't explored this way or this way the second time. Oh no, N no. Do I shoot this one? I was wondering if I'd ever see that goddamn thing again. It's been so long. It's too damn good for them not to reuse it though, right? Shoot it or melee attack it. Shoot it or melee attack it. I never melee attacked the other ones, the other ones, so I don't know how strong they are. I think they took five shots to kill though. Health items are a problem. I, I'm not low on health items or on ammo, so I really honestly could use either. I'm gonna try to melee it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Could this be Silent Hill Woods? Probably. I wonder how Eileen's health works. I mean, surely they can't take constant, endless damage. They would die, right? Do they heal over time? If they don't, is there a way to heal them? Because I don't... Like, if I try to use this on them, I'm pretty sure I would just drink it myself. I don't think I have any way of healing them. Maybe they heal over time, I don't know. Oh yeah, I gotta keep an eye out for wells. There's one. Too dark to see. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the same thing it said the first time I came here. The first time that I came to the woods. I need... I need a flashlight or something. But where would I get that? That's super silly, by the way. Like I mentioned in the last episode, remember how Henry can just light those candles anytime they want, which implies that they have a lighter or matches of some sort? Like, they should be able to do that for this. Hmm. I can't think of any light source. Is there a flashlight, like, in the laundry room back at our apartment? Uh, I'm just gonna keep exploring. We'll see what we find. Maybe there's a, an item somewhere around here. The Mother Stone. face the ghost Cynthia now we, god Christ now we gotta face the ghost Jasper chocolate milk person am I gonna have to fight the ghost version of everybody everybody that's been killed 
fuck, I probably am. We got a while to go then. Uh, how many people after this? There's Andrew DeSalvo, who is in the Watery Prison. There's um, Braintree. I think that's it. Two more after this. I want, we're probably going to revisit those places too. Okay. Well, I, I think I need to leave them pinned to the ground. So I hope I find two more Swords of Obedience. Uh, well, I found a light source. Maybe that's the solution. I just go to the wells while they're burning next to me so I can see inside of them. <laughs> okay. I have like two seconds left on my almost broken medallion. Let's do that. Let's hit him a bunch of times. Uh, yeah. Okay, sure. They still have their chocolate milk, don't they? No, actually, I think they're holding a chalice or something. Cynthia too. this or something? Take the nutrition drink. I didn't even know there was one there. I was trying to take a candle. Sure. I should probably heal myself, actually. Yeah, that didn't even heal me to max. Still a creepy stone. This rock is creepy somehow. Yep. Going back this way. I hear bugs. Wait. Eileen? Sorry. even trying to attack me, are they? Not really. Oh. Nice. Good job. Anything new in the car? Mm -hmm. Among the trash is a scrap of paper with something written on it. Is this a different one than the one we found before? It's been a while since I came here to Silent Hill. Maybe I'll meet the devil this time. No, no, we already read this. Yep. And we got Jasper's memo from there as well. 
Jasper. Jasper. Joseph is the reporter, the journalist who used to live in my apartment. Joseph, not Jasper. So I don't know who Jasper is. Also, I gotta remember that Eileen can apparently read the strange writing like this. So that might be important for solving this. Here goes. October 1st. He told me I could write whatever I wanted because nobody will ever see it. I like to write. My teacher taught me how. Probably Walter Sullivan. I just wonder if Walter Sullivan is the son or the father or both. I don't know. Nobody would ever see it because it's written in the other world, right? Well, that most people can't get to. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this sort of... Oh, fuck, there's a ghost. I forgot about this sort of industrial spot. I remember fighting a lot of bugs when I was coming this way. Ooh, I see a nutrition drink. Ugh, the worm's here. Hi. Oh, fuck. Something written on the candlestick. Holy flame. I'm pretty sure that somewhere in these woods is an orphanage called Wish House. Yeah, we we walked past the burning or smoldering wreckage a little while ago. I'm supposed to do something with this holy flame. This is probably related to the light that I bless you. The light that I need to get. But uh, what can I put here? I think I need to find another item. I think I'm missing like a torch or something. Ah, woo! Wait, where's... Oh, I've never been here. This is new, I guess? I hear the monkey things. Ooh, nice. Did you get it? Yeah, they got it. Yeah, this one's... Uh, uh, that ape thing was way easier than those other ones. When I first went back to the subway world second time, remember I said that I did like five or six charged up attacks with this axe on one of them and it wouldn't even stay down? But that one went down in just a couple. Ooh, another candle. Yes! Yeah, actually, I have been here, because this is where we started. When we first came into this world, originally, I started right here. It's weird that it wasn't on the map. Okay, we got a lot of things to read here. Here goes. October 6th. Tomorrow is book study in the chapel. If I can't read well, I'll wind up like John. I'm really scared. 
What happened to John? Here goes. October 5th. I got hit again. I didn't do anything wrong. I wish he was dead. Here goes. October 4th. My cheek hurts. I hate him. Wait, before when they said father, maybe they didn't mean literally my father, but... You know, religious father? Oh, hey, wait a sec. Wait just a second. This... This door opens now. It didn't open before. Yeah, I've never been in here before. Uh... You were just right there. How oh, they really have to be super close to come with you. Ah, another one. Did I just hit Eileen somehow? So many health drinks. Nutrition drinks. I'm so nutritious. I'm so nutritioned. There's no point in looking at any of these wells until I have a light, right? Yeah. Dig site? What is this? Just shows up as like a rectangular room on the map, but it sure as hell doesn't look like that. This is not a rectangle. What were these pipes used for? Every time I look at it, it creeps me out more. Take the pickaxe? The pickaxe creeps you out? Oh, Jesus, pickaxe of despair. I see why it creeps you out. I'm glad I saw that. It's not actually super obvious. Um, ordinary pickaxe from a construction site. Despair is written on the handle. Very powerful. How is it ordinary? How is it an ordinary pickaxe if it has despair written on it? Wow. That thing's bigger than I thought. Uh, let's see how it is to use. Hmm, it's got a very slow attack. It's, oh, it takes forever to charge up. But let's see what this charged up attack is. Oh, shit! Maybe they don't take damage, but they just express surprise? You know, you probably shouldn't follow too close, Eileen. Please back up. Yeah. So that's like an AoE. It's like a 360 spin around. Interesting. It could be super good if I'm surrounded, but otherwise... Meh. I mean, I guess it does mean you don't have to aim too much. 
Not a lot of range though, compared to this. This strong attack is really good for staying at a safe distance from an enemy and then gaining a bunch of distance during the animation. This one less so, but I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> just, it's just someone's legs hanging down. What were they doing with this? Is that cult involved in all this? I wonder if this is related to the worm. Just because they're obviously doing a lot of digging for this and the worm also seems to just bore holes into things. What's this? What could this be here for? Ooh. You're hidden very well, my friend. I need to dump off some of my inventory stuff. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything else. I mean, I, I could have so easily missed that axe of despair, and I see that there's a candle over here, too. Wait, is that a candle? I think that's a nutrition drink, actually. I've got so many nutri nutrition drinks, I'm just gonna drink one. I'm a little bit hurt anyway. I'm scared. I think that says Toluca Lake on the sign. Yeah, the map doesn't even make any sense anymore. There's no point in even looking at it. Something written on the candlestick, holy flame. Is this revolver ammo? Ah, damn, I can't hold anymore. Oh, there's a hole here, actually. Okay, good. Can't read this writing. Oh. You can. Eileen? Eileen? I think they mean the normal writing is too faded, even though there is a little bit of blood on it. That's not Eileen writing. Toluca Lake. Is that a person? What am I looking at? Are you Walter Sullivan? That's what everybody calls me, but I don't really have a name or a home either. Well, what about a mom or dad? Yeah, but I never met them. They left South Asheville Heights right after I was born. But soon I'll get to see my mom. Do you know where she is now? Yeah, of course. Right where I was born. Lots of people tried to stop me, but it's fine now. It says in the scriptures that I'll be with her. I gotta hurry. Mom's waiting. So that tracks with what we've already heard. Or what I've suspected as well, that that kid is Walter Sullivan, a young Walter Sullivan, the son of the two people that birthed them in the room that I'm staying at, 302, 30 years ago. And when they said that they're looking for their mom, even Eileen said like something about them looking for their mom when they had been almost murdered. After they said that the kid had protected them and, and all that, they said like, have you found her yet or something? And I suspected they were talking about their biological mom that they probably never saw because they were abandoned. And it looks like that's the case. They said their mom is right where I was born. I don't like that because that's my apartment. What do you mean your mom is in my apartment? Maybe they just meant the apartment building. Maybe they meant the umbilical cord. I don't know. I mean, the umbilical cord isn't their mom, though. That doesn't make any sense. It's just a small piece of their mom. OK, 
can't hold anymore. Okay, I got that. I gotta go dump some stuff right now. Oh yeah, and of course the elephant in the room is that they were born 30 years ago, so how are they still a kid? Also, I suspect we're gonna be haunted again. It's been a while and I've got a candle. There's probably gonna be a new haunting. Let's see. Yep. Is that the same one back in the wall? This one came back. Get the fuck out. Bye bye. Savor the moment before they disappear back into the wall. Oh, there's a med kit here too. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's here goes things written. October twenty eighth. I have to take a train or something to get to Ashfield. Everyone says Ashfield is a scary place, but I really want to see my mommy. Mm. Should probably go put that stuff back in the apartment too, but we got some more stuff to read and I think there's... Yeah, we can take this. Some kind of suspicious looking medallion. Crusted medallion. It has a disturbing emblem carved into it. It's about 10 inches in diameter. I wonder why it specifies the size. So 10 inches. That's almost a foot. You know, in our shitty Imperial units. That's pretty big. What does that go into? I did notice there was some sort of indentations in the mother stone back there. I wonder if this could be slotted into it. Wait, disturbing emblem carved into it. I'm looking at that little picture. It looks like just the standard symbol with the three circles in the center and then the two outer rings, the whole past, present and future and etc. thing. I never thought of that symbol as particularly disturbing. The upper body is missing. Was it some kind of goddess or something? Here goes. February 10th. I went to visit Ashfield again. Again, I... Something... something... Mommy. Some of it's blurred and I can't read past there. Wait, what did that say? Yeah, it's beautiful, but for some reason it gives me the creeps. Toluca Lake and Silent Hill. Oh, it said something longer before. I remember from the photos in their apartment, they talked about visiting this place. I think they were reminiscing about when they visited. Okay, um... Do I want to dump some of this stuff? I do only have room for one item. It's fine for now. There's holes everywhere. Oh, hey, that's new. Okay, we got some new friends. Mm. Oh, wow, there's a lot of ghosts. Holy shit. Thank you, Aileen. Let's go. Yeah, fuck you. Holy shit, that's powerful. <laughs> Still, it's not going to do much. Just that, right? Not like ghosts everywhere? Wait, Eileen. goes. March 17th. I went to Ashfield again. It was my fourth time. Just like last time, my mother... something... the city is scary and the apartment where my mother is has... um... 
I can't read any more than that. Yeah, so they're talking about all the many, many times they visited the apartment, which we heard about from people at the apartment talking about seeing Walter Sullivan just hanging around the person in the coat. Oh, hey, it's another one over here. Here goes. October 18th. I have to stay in the round cell even if I read well tomorrow. If I do it, God will be happy, so I will do it. He comes into the round cell a lot to visit, but it's okay, I guess. The round cell? That sounds vaguely familiar. Joseph's article. Joseph, the person who was at my apartment before me. The journalist. Part of their investigation on Wish House. Refused admission... There, during my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. That must be the round cell that a young Walter Sullivan mentioned. Round concrete tower. I haven't seen anything like that, though. I haven't seen any tower. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. Well, I guess a prison, because the young Walter Sullivan called it a cell. Okay, also, I noticed something. I noticed this thing. I don't know what that is. It looks like a big candy cane wrapped in... Aluminum foil? There's a chain here. Take the chain. Yes. Oh, hey! Eileen only weapon. Light and easy to use. One snap could cause a lot of damage. Ooh, sweet! I can finally get rid of that ridiculous riding crop. Here. Oh, I'm interested to watch her use that. Which which so I guess that only appears the second time you come here, because I'm pretty sure that wasn't there before. Hmm. <laughs> Look at it flopping all over the place. Ooh. It makes noise. That might get sort of annoying, but that's fine. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I think I'm going to head back to the large rock, the mother rock, right here. See if I can put that 10-inch diameter medallion thing in it. And if I can't, I guess I'm going to head over here, because I haven't explored this place now that I've been here the second time. <laughs>